Hey everyone, it's Mad Video Productions, and welcome back to another useful video on AI generation and Dolly 2. Like I said last time, I like to open up these videos with an interesting generation, and you guys are not going to guess uh, what you're seeing in front of you. This is essentially the successor to Russian Dolly, which I've talked about in a few of my other videos before, and especially the one that's been getting a lot of views lately, where Russian Dolly was basically a Dolly alternative. And these images that you're seeing right now are, of course, all AI generated by Shonenkov AI, only available through Discord, and you get a prompt per hour or so and you get these 16 images from one prompt so this right here that you're viewing right now is my lemon prompt that I like to use as sort of a test for these AIs the prompt was realistic CGI lemon wearing sunglasses relaxing on a beach and as you can see this is a very coherent AI 16 images is a lot but they are almost all photorealistic We've got the lemon, we've got the beach, we've got the sunglasses. There's no sort of character of the lemon, like a CGI Pixar character, but I'm guessing the translation to Russian didn't really include that part very well. But it turned out really great, I think, nonetheless. These are super photorealistic. This is a really large model, so I figured I'd just sort of open up talking about these awesome generations and this new AI that is really really quite good if this AI could upscale and produce larger images and was more easily accessible I'd include it on another list anyways moving on to Dolly 2 as we all no doubt know by now Dolly 2 is absolutely incredible and it can generate some really incredible images photorealism really cool art almost anything you want and uh, no doubt that you guys want access to Dolly 2. So today I'm going to be sharing some stuff that I have learned so far on how to get access as soon as possible to Dolly 2 from OpenAI. And this took a little bit of researching, but it was definitely worth it. So if you want access to Dolly 2, no doubt I'm pretty sure everyone watching this video has clicked the join waitlist button, which will be linked down below. And this is how you more or less sign up to get access uh, to Dolly 2. So of course it's first name, last name, email then they have some interesting links to your Twitter profile your Instagram profile and your LinkedIn and then they ask which best describes you now a lot of you are probably thinking well I already did this I already went through here and applied well you can actually apply again and according to OpenAI staff your place in line so to speak is not overwritten when you go back and reapply with you know different links for example which is good news. What most people have been experiencing so far, in terms of people who have access to Dolly 2, is that uh, the actual time in which you sign up for Dolly 2 does not really matter as much as the credentials that you fill out. From what we can gather, OpenAI is letting people into Dolly 2 in this order that you see on the screen right now. Starting with a professional artist, will have top priority, followed by a developer, then an academic researcher, and then finally a journalist or online creator. This is, for example, the one that I would fall under. And then finally, other. Not to say people that have uh, signed up with other haven't got in so far, it just seems to be that if you you select one of these down here you have a better chance at getting in as long as your links up here will match what you've selected down here they might also look at things such as your previous uh, OpenAI account history if you've already had an account before Dolly 2 which I did I, I played around with GPT 3 for example they're looking for your possible contribution to OpenAI's Dolly 2 or just OpenAI in general. So obviously professional artists can try out Dolly 2 before others, which we've seen a ton of. A lot of professional artists have been given access. Developers and academic researchers or developers slash academic researchers on Discord. And they were saying that they put in their LinkedIn, which included their school and their major, which just so happened to be in computer science, which will give them a sort of a bump. And it was from a reputable school. As for journalists or online creator, this one's pretty tough. It seems like some online creators really get access easily, especially if they already make sort of AI content, open AI content, or Dolly to content but if you're just a regular old online creator your content doesn't really necessarily focus on artificial intelligence or anything like that you're not really given as large of a chance for example uh, Marquez Brownlee or MKBHD a very famous tech youtuber uh, wanted to make a few videos with Dolly too which he did successfully and they gave him access, but they only gave him access for a day. And this is a YouTuber with 15 million subscribers. So this is 
pretty interesting how this big YouTuber, they let him promote it, but only for one day. They didn't even let him keep his access. However, some people who even selected the other, though I've seen on Reddit, are now getting access, so they are definitely expanding access pretty quickly. And it also seems that your place in line, or the actual time in which you send out to get on the waitlist, doesn't really matter that much. It definitely matters, it's probably gonna be more than a month, but again, reapplying does not change your place in line, and it seems like if you select the other category, or maybe even the journalist or online creator category, you're more um, going to get access through a random selection of a group of people from a few months ago. It has been confirmed that several people who have signed up on day one for Dolly 2 still don't have access, whereas others who have signed up, you know, maybe a month after it launched, are now getting access and they just put in the other category and didn't really put any links in. So essentially, the moral of the story is, if you can swing academic researcher or developer, maybe you're a game developer, or a journalist or online creator, if you can sort of swing that, if that describes you, make sure you select one of these options. If you have a LinkedIn, put your LinkedIn in. If you have an Instagram, put your Instagram in. If you have your Twitter, put your Twitter in. Maybe post some content on Twitter and Instagram that are sort of Dolly 2 related or AI related and of course, you know, your email and your name. But that is sort of the, the big thing here is reapply for Dolly2 Access if you just put in other, didn't put any links in because this will sort of bump up your chances of getting access sooner. According to all of the information that I can gather from the Dolly2 Reddit, from different discords, and from people on Twitter, and talking to people who have gotten access so far. So yeah, everyone, that's going to be it for today. I hope this uh, very specific information on how uh, the OpenAI uh, acceptance process for Dolly2 works was helpful. I know it sort of helped me out. But yeah, I'll see you guys in another video. We've got some interesting stuff coming up on Mid Journey, so get excited for that. And I will see you guys in another video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.